Oh, hi. I'm Cat Lab Jeff. Today we're talking about PIF, preventing infections for patients, families, and staff. We're going to talk to a few people that work in the cath lab to see just how they PIF. We're here with Terry, nurse extraordinaire from the cath lab, who uses scrubs from the Scrub X. So you don't use acid wash jeans with holes in them and dog slobber and dog hair, is that correct? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Clean set of scrubs every day. Switch your pants here, switch your shirt. Absolutely. So yes. you practice PIF with your pants. Exactly. One may say... I PIF my pants. <laughs> you PIF your pants. That's right. Oh my goodness. Terry. Terry PIFs her pants. <laughs> <laughs> I piss my pants. <laughs> We're here with Dr. Schufeld, triathlete, doctor, mother. She's going to tell us a little bit. Now tell us, before you go into a procedure, you've got a bit of a regimen here. Now, the reason we're asking is we're preventing infections for patients, families, and staff, or what we call PIF. And we see on the wall here you've got a few tricks. We sure do. We have a lot of tricks here in the cath lab. A lot of stuff to PIF with. A lot of stuff to PIF with. I like to use my Avogard nail cleaners. Code number 9204. 9204, great friend. Excellent. Get a little soap. Antimicrobial soap? A little bit of antimicrobial soap. And then you just get that little nail cleaner right under there, running water, as uh, suggested. Get all the good stuff out. This is as close as I get to a manicure on a daily basis. So, when you do this, you're practicing PIF, you would say. PIF. First, you dip your fingernails, which are newly cleaned from the nail cleaner, in the scrub. I can scrub. Then you do this. Yeah. Another dispensed unit, fingernails in, spread up. The third, or across all the hands. Holy, super pepper. It is a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. So, so this is your little station to do all this. Yes. So one may say that you would piff in the sink. I, I piff in the sink. Daily. Multiple times per day, I piff in the sink. This is the sink to piff in. This is the sink to piff in. We don't like to piff in the kitchen. Yes, sink. yes. Piff sink. Piff in the sink. I'm proud to say, I piff in the sink. We're here with Joanne. Joanne is in housekeeping. And she's one of the ones that cleans the cat lab. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So, when you come in to clean the cat lab, and the reason I'm asking you, we're doing what we call PIF, preventing infections for patients, families, and staff. PIF. Sounds like a good idea. It does. So when you come in, I see you squirt a special liquid. Yeah, yeah. What? Disinfectant. All yes. over the floor. All you clean the everything. Floor, everything. You, you PIF everything. Yes, yes. PIF all over the floor. Yes. PIF on everything. PIF on. <laughs> yes. That's, That's okay. Yeah. So you PIF on the floor. Uh, Essentially. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. And I piff on the floor. So we're here with Dr. Ball. He's the director of the cat file, Renaissance man, smooth customer. Dr. Ball, we're uh, talking about PIF, which is preventing infections for patients, families, and staff. How do you feel about that? Sounds like it's a very worthwhile goal. So you encourage people to keep piffing? Piff away. Piff every day? Two or three times a day, probably. Don't stop piffing, is what you're saying. Piff till you can't piff anymore. Love it. Don't stop piffing.